Hello everybody, I'm back with a new video. There are a couple of new maps that are out right now that have piqued my interest. And uh, we're gonna start here with Frontier. And in typical FS Day fashion, we are not going to approach this map in a conventional way. We are gonna use some unrealistic mods. We are going to use some high capacity mods. And what really interests me about this map is not the farm part or the city part, but what's outside the main gate there. So we are going to try to become oil barons as quickly as we possibly can. So we're gonna start and confirm because I don't care what we look like. Do we still own this pickup truck? I don't know. Yes, yes we do. So we can make a little extra money here. I'm not sure in all modes on this map, it starts you with $1 less than it says it's gonna start you with. I'm not sure what that's all about, uh, but I think the shop doesn't open officially until nine, maybe. Oh, and the cops are giving me a hard look there. Go on, go on, nothing to see here. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and sell this truck because we don't really need it. And then even though the store is closed, we're going to go ahead and buy some things and I can make them uh, reset right over here outside the gate if I have to. So let's see if this gate over here opens. Yes, yes, it does. And I think everything spawns back here, so we should be okay. So uh, in the interest of being oil barons, we are going to buy ourselves a truck and a trailer, uh, a tanker trailer, so that we can deliver that sweet, sweet oil, black gold, Texas tea. Anyway, uh, we can go ahead and buy this guy right here. It does really well in the sand. We'll go ahead and give it an unrealistic horsepower. Um, that's plenty of everything. Go ahead and get it in our basic. Well, we can't have black. We have dark gray. That'll do. We're going to buy that. And we're also going to go to trailers. And at the very end of my trailer mods is this guy right here. Uh, 160,000 liters. And it'll do oil. The reason I don't, I'm not going with the Omatana trailer is because it won't do the crude oil. So we're going to give it the Unreal Capacity, Black, Black, and of course, Black. All right. All right. So we have our oil set up somewhere. There it is. All right, so we're here at the main gate in this congested traffic, which always seems to be right here. I played this map a little bit in a more conventional way, and I enjoyed it. It's, it's a nice map. But if you're just farming, then this is not the map to do that on. And this is a lot more interesting to me. We don't get a lot of this. Just straight up desert. But I think with a little bit of work, we can turn this into a bit of an oasis for ourselves. And this is the closest oil well, which makes the most sense to start with. So, um, if we look, two million bucks, and we don't have two million bucks. We have one point three, so we need about seven hundred thousand in order to 
by this oil well. And we're also going to need some drilling equipment. It'll hold 30,000 liters of drilling equipment. And it's $10,000 for 10,000 liters. So we're going to need an extra 30 grand to get our well started. We could do that by planting some stuff and growing a crop and or doing a production with some animals in the conventional way. But the uh, the map maker has generously provided us, oh, with a train, number one. Always look both ways before you cross the tracks, boys and girls. As I was saying before we were hit by a train, the map maker has generously provided us with some collectibles, some really good collectibles. And fortunately, I know where a couple of those are. I don't know where they all are. Uh, I do know where a couple are because as I was driving around out here, there you just find them. Um, and I know there's one in this general vicinity. There it is right there. You can see they have these little markers on top, which is a very nice indicator indeed. So we know there's a collectible under here. Unfortunately, while there is a way to move around the sand on this map, there is no way to dig into the ground on this map. We don't have that kind of ground yet in Farming Simulator. So we're just going to have to use the landscaping tool and do some digging that way. So we're going to go to landscaping raise and lower and we're just going to lower the ground around this particular indicator and oh look at that it's a barrel full of money so we'll collect on that and what do you know it's seven hundred thousand dollars so we do have enough money right now to start our oil production so let's go do that There's a couple of more of those collectibles in the in the vicinity, but we're going to let those lay for right now. All right, so back at the well. All right, we bought that. We have 90 grand left. We're going to go ahead and do a store delivery here. When I first played this map, I had a lot of trouble figuring out, and it's probably just me because I'm stupid, but I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to get um, how to get mining equipment and uh, like maintenance tools. That was the other thing. Um, they come on pallets, and they're here for sale in the pallets section of the store. So we have maintenance tools, we have drilling equipment, and mining equipment, and vehicle parts, and gas. So these are all things that you might need in your productions here on Frontier. We're going to go with drilling equipment, and we're going to buy three of those. And no pretense here. This is unrealistic, so we're going to use super strength when we need it. And our drilling equipment is emptying into the well. Don't ask me how that happens or what that actually looks like. It's drilling equipment, and that's all you need to know. And we're already making petroleum. We already have 104 liters. We are well on our way to being oil tycoons. I'm going to put a tent right here. Because with $59,000 left, there's really nothing left for us to do today. All right, it's September. Let's see how much oil we made overnight. 31,000 liters. Let's see how much petroleum is worth today. 4,497. And what I like about petroleum is you can see the, the price doesn't fluctuate much at all. It stays right in that groove. We're at $4,500. If we were playing in easy mode, that would be about $7,500. So it's going to take a little longer, but we'll get there. 
So our one well brought in $144,074. Not bad. Not bad at all. The power of that is going to come from having multiple wells. Let's check the map and see if we have enough money to buy a piece of property. So I think the piece of property that I want to buy first is going to be one of these. 472, 479. So maybe one of these. <laughs> <laughs> if we bought that one, that's 166. We could buy that one right now. Really like it to be one of those 472. So I think we're going to grab another collectible. I'm trying to think. I know where two others are. One of them is over here. So we might as well grab that one. Yeehaw. Let's see, we're going to go down. And oh, look, a big barrel of money. <laughs> $650,000. That'll help us out considerably. And we could buy the piece of property that the well is on. That's going to cost us half a million dollars, and there's a bunch of drilling equipment on it. We really can't do anything with the land. And we already own the production, so it doesn't seem like there's any good reason to buy the land. The plan is to turn this into a big sugar field. And then we're going to make and sell sugar. And if we do that with sugar cane, then we don't ever have to plant it again. We just plant it one time, we spend a buttload on seeds, and uh, we continue to harvest every time it regrows. That is the beauty of sugarcane. We'll buy 73. And we still have enough money to get a tractor and a plow. And um, it's going to take a while for it to grow, so we'll make a little more money and we'll be able to buy ourselves a harvester and harvest the sugar cane. And you know that we're not going to harvest that sugar cane in a conventional way. We're going to do it in the, the easiest possible method. <laughs> we're going to use it to mark one side of the property. And then we'll park the truck to mark the other side of the property. I wish more map makers would do what Alien Jim does and put the property lines on the mini map. It sure does make it easier when you're creating fields to have those property lines there. All right, well, I'm going to do some landscaping and uh, I'll get back to you when I have a field that is uh, ready to plow. All right, our property is a whole lot flatter than it was before. So you can see, so we're going to now buy a tractor. I really like this mod here. Comes in at 409 horsepower on the base model. Base model is 221. It's really hard to see on this on this screen. Um, but that is the base model. And I think the only thing I want to do with it is go with some wide tires and wheel weights. Otherwise, it's fine as it is. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. It's going to end up across the road, but that's fine. And then we're going to come in here to our plows. And we're going to go with the biggest plow they got. And lease it.
that's our new field. That's going to be a lot of sugar cane. And then as we grow, we can put in some fields next to it, leave enough space here for a yard, which is what we're going to have here. And uh, turn this place into our little oasis while we buy up every single oil well on the map. Let's see how fast we can get to $10 million. But I think that's all the time we have for today. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you didn't like this video, post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.